Mayor Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. One might think that if a city adopted a ban on plastic bags, images like this would be a thing of the past. But the truth is, if you spend just a small amount of time in San Francisco's Chinatown, you would never know if there was a ban on plastic bags. Because no matter where I looked, people appeared to be using the banned item. In some cases, the plastic bags were hanging in plain view at some of the stores. But in most cases, people were toting them around. Now, I'm not talking about reusable bags that from a distance may closely resemble plastic bags. At the Lucky Dragon gift shop, they sell these cloth-like reusable bags for 20 cents each, and they were quick to show me them. However, when I asked if they carried plastic bags, they said yes. When I asked if I could see them, I was asked why. Typically, if anyone in San Francisco and many surrounding communities goes shopping, they have to either bring their own bags or pay up to a quarter for a bag. This doesn't appear to be the case in Chinatown. And just for the record, the ban does not include produce bags just single-use plastic shopping bags. You know, the ones that you often see blowing down the street or hanging from a tree. Now, there was a loophole in the plastic ban. Merchants were allowed to finish their existing supply, and it would appear that many of the shops in Chinatown stocked up on the banned plastic bags for a very long time. In San Francisco, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.